Hi guys, my name is Setsuna. I'm a Japanese manga artist. I do something like this work, blah blah blah. And I do everything by myself since I'm independent. I design everything, I draw everything, I make the stories. And to keep track of every small details that I have to do, I use my planners to do it. So in this video, I would like to show you what I use and how I use it briefly. Um, yeah, I started this channel in Japanese. So if you go backtrack my old videos, everything is in Japanese. And initially I had a debate if I wanted to do in English or in Japanese and I was kind of new to the whole video taking and editing stuff. So I started with what I was comfortable with. So in Japanese, but since it's been six months and I'm a little comfortable at speaking on camera, so I might as well try English version of this. Anyway, um, I haven't been speaking English much since I stay at home and my family is all Japanese so I only usually speak Japanese at home. The only time I speak English is when I walk my dog and see other people at the park so my English might be a little rusty but bear with me and let's get into my planners. First to start off, this is my main planner. Um, this is a Traveler's Notebook Diner limited edition um, cover. I have two charms on. One is an Italian coin from 1935. I love Italy. And this mug charm is also from this collection of the diner series. I changed, I think the original was greenish elastic band, but since I like yellow, I changed to yellow. So everything is in my color. And I like to put two charms on. So when you have this mug charm on the left side, you know this Italian coins face correctly, like upwards have the Italia word on top. Whereas if it's flipped, you have this grandpa face downwards. So this is how I know which side is up. And when I take this plastic off, I have the original refill from the Traveler's Note Company. This is the paper cloth zipper in mustard color. And then I have my Hobonichi Weeks inside. So this is my main planner. I have the Hobonichi Weeks within the plastic cover. So in between the weeks and the cover, I have this elastic band going through. So it doesn't have to go in between the notebooks. So you can lay it flat very nicely something like this and to quickly go through what I have in here this is the Ferris wheel press limited edition maple majestic maple syrup and I have detrimentous de document ink black and blue I love this ink it's permanent waterproof I'm very clumsy so I tend to have wet hands or I spill my water this saves everything at least as long as the paper is good. Um, to flip through, I have three different sticker, Kita stickers, which is very helpful for my planners. Some of these for my dated things. And my drawings hiding in here. And I have the Traveler's Notebook Diner as my commonplace book but let's get into that later and so Hobonichi Weeks so this is a 2023 January start I think it's called ca the cafe in English it's Kisa in Japanese I'm not too sure with what the English version is so when you open it I have a few of my photos my drawings my drawing this is like anniversary photo from 2017 my dog and my husband in the front and then I have my Hobonichi uh, no, Traveler's Notebook stickers in here. So here at the glance the 2023 one I use it as my project tracker so individual color represent each episode I'm drawing for my manga and so I'll know how many days it took to do one episode which is usually about like 20 to 25 depending on how many pages I have. 
um 2022 one it's the old project trackers so that i know what how long it took last time last year um this is combined with like eight ten episode in one color so it's not too specific but it's fine um the 2024 one i use it um, as my period tracker um i don't really need the weekdays so i just mark the days i had my period and this page i use it as my dog walking tracker so whatever is at crossed is the day i walked and whatever isn't the minus sign is the day i didn't walk him i usually walk him every day twice a day and the only day that i don't walk him is when the weather is really bad so you kind of know when it was raining by looking at this which doesn't really you don't really need it, but it's nice to have something filled out in this page. So I just have it. On the top part, I track when I wash him and how much he weighs. Uh, day that he cut his nail clipped and all that small stuff about my dog. And then for the monthly, let's go to August. Sorry, my dog might be barking and might be a little loud. So this is how I do my monthlies. Not too detailed. It's I don't really open it. I just open it probably in the beginning and the end of the month. So I put stickers on Thursday is the day I shoot video, edit it, and upload it. Friday is the day I upload my manga on Twitter. And these yellow marked, is, everything is in Japanese. The yellow mark is when I work on my short story manga. So four page manga that I post on Twitter every week. And yeah, the green mark is the longer one, but we can skip kind of. So I just write the day I start individual tasks. So like my line work, my coloring to just see how many days I take to do each task, which doesn't really change much, but it's nice to keep track. On this side, I tend to write down how many subscribers I have on my YouTube. Not every day, just a big one, like 2000 people subscribed to my channel on August 19th. Yay, um, thank you. And this side, I have my main um, task list for the month. So what I have to do, prepare for the event, or what I have to do for my manga, or all these small other main tasks that I have to do. And then the weeklies. It kind of looks the same every week. Nothing has changed. So let's just go here. So I divide this into three columns. Uh, and in the morning when I wake up, the first thing I do is write down the temperature, the highest and lowest, and the weather. And then I put one sticker on the day. For example, so like today is 24th on this, this Thursday. So this, it's like 9.18 a.m. right now. So I, the only thing I did in my planner today is to write the weather, temperature, and put one stick on to know which day it is. I get a little confused. I work from home every day. Every day looks the same. So it's nice to have some indication tracker of what day it is, which is kind of lame, but yes, I need that. Um, on the very left column, this is my main task, what I have to do in that day, like the big title of it. And as you can see, you have the weather, and this is the little task, like how many pages I have to work on. So each circle represents a page, and this means line work. So like I'm drew, drawing the line, just the lines for four pages a day, kind of. And like small um, social media update I have to do, reply to something, and all the little tasks goes to the right column. And on the right page, I usually do one reading and one movie night per week. But last week it was quite busy and I was watching Grey's Anatomy, re-watching it for like the third time. Um, it's nice, you know, it's nice to re-watch things. You know what's going to happen. So you don't really have to watch the screens. So I tend to re-watch my favorite TV shows a lot. 
And Grey's Anatomy is one of my favorites. I know it's a little, you know, soapy and cliche and all that, but it's good for, like, it's been on for 19 seasons for a reason, right? Love Grey's Anatomy. I'm in season 10 right now. Started watching probably, like, early July, and I'm already on season 10, but no judgment there, right? Um... Viva is one of the recent Japanese TV drama, so every week I have, um, yeah, I write down what I watched and what I felt about it, what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, um, yeah, so track of all that, and that's kind of my main planner, and for the notebook section, I am doing commonplace like anyone else on the internet is doing i took the megan rhiannon's um commonplace technique i guess so everything's combined everything is in one notebook my project management my little details my diaries my dog everything is in here and since this got filled up in june I moved into this book, so I'm pretty much doing the same thing. Um, it's like two planners at one. It is two notebooks now, but it used to be just one notebook. Doing the same thing, just commonplacing whatever I thought about. I'm losing my voice. Um, yeah. So for this, for 2024, I already ordered Sterling Inc.'s Common Planner. Um, the traveler notebook size so I should it should fit in this quite nicely I ordered the compact size because I usually don't need that much like I don't need a page a day I usually use my common planner a couple days a week maybe like right three pages per 10 days so I just bought the compact one if it's filled out before end of the year next year I'll just you know add another notebook like this so yeah this is my main planner and let's go to the next one and my second planner that i use daily is this hobo nichi five years diary um i got this in 2021 i haven't been keeping up with it i used it for a couple of months in the first 2021 but after that, as you can see, I got my dogs. I have like my puppy photos that I had back then, but I haven't been really keeping up with it. But since July this year, I actually realized how I can keep up with it. So I'm really bad at doing diaries at night before I sleep. It actually works better for me to do it in the morning and write about yesterday. So I started that in Ju June 29th and since then I've been actually doing pretty well keeping up with it every day. I haven't missed a day. I haven't forgot about them and yeah it's been pretty good. It's been only a month and a half but I think I kind of got a hang of it so I might so yeah, I'm debating if I should buy a new one, start fresh and actually fill everything out or suck it up and just continue. Because I already, I only have, you know, I will still have half a book to go and there's no point in getting a new one if, you know, after three months I kind of leave that one alone. So maybe I should just stick with this one, fill out the end at and buy a new one at 2026. That might be a smarter idea, but you know, if you're a planner people, you know you wanna keep, you know, kind of fill everything up and make it your baby. But yeah, we'll see. Let's see. I'll try to do it at least till end of this year and maybe think about getting a new one after that. And the third notebook, or it's not really a planner, it is a notebook. Um, that I use is this Hobo Nichi Grid Notebook. I got this a couple years ago, didn't use it for a while, started using this year. So initially, I was thinking about doing a bullet journal next year. So I'll draw everything from scratch, 
makeup planner. So I tested out different spreads, but realized I don't have time to do this every month or every week. So I kind of stopped using it and changed this to a brain dump. So whenever I start my manga tasks in the morning, I tend to daydream in the first two hours. I can't really focus. I have a few things on my mind, thinking about my husband's birthday or, you know, whatever is going on that day. So to actually focus, I started to write down everything that I was thinking in the morning. Spend like 15 minutes or 5 minutes, 5 to 15 minutes, and write down everything that I'm thinking about on my notebook and dump it down and not think about it anymore, which is quite helping, I realized. My focus has grown, or I get into it faster than I used to. So, nothing too special. I don't have, it's not a diary. It's not a cool, you know, idea notebook or anything. It's just the moment idea that I'm thinking at that point of time. So it's mostly talking about iPhone 15 most of the time because I'm using this camera right now is iPhone 10s which is super old and I'm thinking of getting iPhone 15 this year so I have a lot of debate about iPhone 15 on this notebook um talking about Japanese yen because it's very weak right now and all my income is currently in Japanese yen although I live in Canada um yeah talking about manga what i should do not really about that though my husband's birthday is coming up and obviously i talk a lot about the new techo like hobonichi series that i'm like excited to see every day on the calendar the new release stuff by the way today the whole lineup is going to be announced i'm quite excited about that um so for this, I'm probably planning to get the Hobonichi planner for next year. I might just buy another notebook like this and do this because this has more space, even though it's the same size because they don't like this notebook doesn't have any quotes. It's undated. Obviously, you have a little more space. I don't know. I don't really need a calendar. I don't need it to be dated. So maybe I should just stick to this notebook but i don't know i like hobonichi so i want to get all those hobonichi new products at least one and this year it seems like i may not like this planner might be the only option that i'll get for my new hobonichi books i know it's weird i but i still want hobonichi so recently i started to put my dog's photo on and do my brain dump so it, I might continue doing this so that it will be my dog diary plus my brain dump and can keep it and I can see my dog every day even though I see him every day. He's under the table right now. But yeah, this is my brain dump notebook and I, I have this but I don't really use it in here. Yeah. So... This is my main three planners slash notebook slash diary um, planner slash common pla common placing um, brain dump notebook five years diary and this is probably going to be common planner traveler notes book size I will probably get the English version Hobonichi planner minimal design which is nice and debating if I should get a new Hobonichi 5 years plan uh, diary, probably not, but maybe if I can't resist myself. And yeah, so these are my planners slash notebooks. I hope people like watching my videos, I don't know. Um, if you're more interested in how I do plannings or anything else, please leave it in the comments or if you want to see more English videos, if there's more of you interested, I'll definitely have English version as well. If not, I'll just switch it back into Japanese. You know, 
benefit of being bilingual. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, please like, um, please subscribe to my channel if you're interested, and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye!